Hey everybody, Hunter Fisher, Trapper, Trader, Guide, Scout, and Interpreter, and Country Cook, Steve Hall here in Nashville, Tennessee, along with Pretty Miss Sheila. How you doing, Sheila? Hi. I have a lot of great recipes that I share with everybody that people share with me. Well, I kind of came up with my own recipe for something unique, and how it happened was I went to the refrigerator one night, kind of for a late night snack, and I seen some brats in there, and I thought, man... You know, if I cook these up, try to cook them up quick, I either got to simmer them in some sort of a broth or I got to try to throw them in the frying pan and, and then they end up with a burnt strip on one side and burnt strip on the other side and raw in the middle. Then I came up with an idea one night and come here and let me show you what I did. So you know what I invented? Brat burgers. Let me explain. Here's some beer brats that I had at the store. Let me pull one out here. In fact, let me pull two out because I'm going to cook two of them. Now I could just throw these on the grill and they're going to end up burnt both sides. It'll take a long time to cook. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a little bit of oil on here. Check this out. And I'm going to take one of these bratwurst and I'm just going to pinch it in the middle. And what you do is you pull the meat off one side. Then get a paper towel and grab that casing and pull the meat off the other side like that and then just take these two chunks of meat and you make a patty. Mash it thin because it'll cook real quick that way. And this is now going to become a shotgun red brat burger. Just like that. No salt, no pepper, no seasoning. Everything is already in these little guys. Again, just squeeze them in the middle and again, just pull the meat out one side like that. Take your paper towel, grab this casing, because it's too slick to hang on to without a paper towel. Then you get your other chunk there, same thing. And one brat makes one burger, so it's really convenient. And you talk about a quick way to do this. And Sheila loves them like this because she doesn't really like casings like hot dogs or sausage. She doesn't like the casing, so she loves them this way. Now, these are my shotgun red brat burgers. Again, no seasoning of any kind. And you notice that it doesn't take very long to cook them because they're not in the casing. They're flat so the heat can get right through them real quick. I love to mash stuff, so let me just mash these nice and flat. And why these are simmering up, man, get yourself some nice, I think this is like potato bread uh, buns. Great big hamburger buns. I got a couple of them here. And my Uncle Bob taught me years ago, if you're going to have Sloppy Joe's burgers or anything on a bun, butter it lightly. It keeps the juices from soaking into the hamburger. Top and bottom. Just a light coating of butter. Not very much at all. Can you smell them? Aren't they wonderful? And in just a flash, only takes a second to run back in and watch the rest of NHRA drag racing. We turn these over again. They're almost done. And all I did was mash the center out of some bratwurst. Because you and I both know, no matter how low and slow you cook these, it's hard to cook a bratwurst because you can't stand it on edge and you can't... Sometimes I even used to cut them in half and lay them flat, but then the casing would make them curl up and they were impossible to cook. And I thought, why not just peel that casing off? And then one day I thought, why not just squeeze the insides out and make a brat burger? I'm going to scoot this over here a little bit so I can get rid of just a little bit of this oil because I don't quite need that. I'm going to scoot it back over here again. Now pork, believe it or not, nowadays, in the old days, you used to eat pork and you had to cook it absolutely positively all the way done. But nowadays, pork is raised in such great conditions that they don't, you know, yeah, in the old days you used to slop the hogs and you threw everything out there. Now they eat great food and they say you can actually eat pork chops medium rare. And I have, and they're really delicious. Pork is good rare. I, there's still a lot of people that cook it all the way through that just don't trust it through all the years. Let's see if I can scoot him over. Put a little piece of cheese on top. Now, the ideal thing 
is if you got your barbecue grill going out there, I just wanted to shoot this to show you real quick. If you got your barbecue grill going, man, pop these on the grill. I use a grill mat so you don't have to worry about the burgers burning or nothing. I take them little grill mats, slam them down, and pop them on. Look at the cheese melting, so nice. They're done, just that quick. They're Shotgun Red's Brat Burgers. You can also um, really bun them. Yes, oh, that's right, I forgot. I forgot, Sheila, you should have said something earlier. I'm glad you said something, though. She does not like me getting away without grilling up these buns here. Now these babies, I'm going to take a little paper towel over here while these burgers are getting grilled up nice. And I'm going to lay these burgers on here and the best part is the flavor is absolutely fantastic you don't have to have the right salt pepper seasoning whatever let me take a peek getting close it doesn't take long on these burgers because they're buttered kind of press it down just a little bit kind of help the oh it's getting better okay we pause the camera just for a second to let these buns get brown. Look at that. Is that nice or what? And look at this little guy. No longer is he a bratwurst. He's a shotgun red brat burger. Look at there. Man oh man. He's just begging to fall off of there. I'm going to eat him as soon as he cools. I'm going to put that on there. That on here. I'm going to turn off my griddle. And again you could do these on the grill. But no seasoning required because they already have all the flavor. And I bought the beer brats right here. I bought the cheap food lion ones, beer brats, because I just want the insides out of them. So let me move this griddle over to one side. Get my plate over here. Where'd my little flipper go to? He's hiding under this paper towel. Here we go. Is that a quick way to whip up bratwurst, get yourself some onion. Ooh, yeah, that's got the cheese on it, so you're gonna have to do it down here. And a little bit of tomato on there. Let me flip this over because the cheese is on the top half. So, there, ooh, nice slice of onion. Another slice of tomato. Me and Sheila part differences when it comes to tomatoes. She likes thick sliced tomato, and I like thin sliced everything. Then, of course, you can garnish this with a little bit of ketchup, a little bit of mustard, a little bit of whatever you want to put on there, but grab yourself some bratwurst, pinch them in the middle, shove the meat out both ends, form them into a burger and throw them on the grill, and you got brat burgers. And man, they are absolutely to die for. Let me cut one of these in half. Even without salt and pepper. Let me give this a sample here. Look at that, isn't that just delicious? Wow. I'm telling you, it backs hamburgers down a dirt road. I'm telling you, as much as I love ketchup and mustard and pickled relish and mayonnaise and stuff like that, these are just standalone delicious. They're absolutely fantastic. Now, I say that at a lot of recipes, but I'm not kidding you. These are outstanding. Sheila, do you want me to cut yours? Uh, yes, corner to corner. Corner to corner? Well. Let me think about that for a minute. How do I cut a round brat burger corner to corner? There we go. Is that corner to corner? Looks good to me. All right, it looks good to you. If you want to subscribe to our channel, there's our button right there. You just click on that and then you'll know about all of our recipes. Get yourself some bratwurst. Pull the meat out of both sides of that casing, form them into a patty. Make them real, real thin and they'll cook up real quick. Throw some cheese on there. Put them on this nice big soft hamburger buns and they are to die for. Shotgun Red's Brat Burgers. And by the way, speaking of Shotgun Red, there he is over there. She always has me remind you, go to www.shotgunred.com and you can get order one of them to take it home for the grandkids or just sit one in your kitchen. And is this the best brat burger you'll ever eat? If it ain't, it ought to be. We'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Say goodbye, Sheila. Bye. See you later, you guys. Wow.